Hey guys, welcome back in CodeSphere. So today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can implement like functionality in this Firebase video streaming app. So you can see that when I will click on this uh, show video button, so you can see that we came on this activity and now here we have likes. So you can see that uh, all the videos are liked and if I will click on this video, so now it is unliked and you can see that child is here deleted and if I will dislike this one, so also the child is created disliked. So the child is deleted. So you can see that if I will like this again, so child is here true and the like is increased. So today in this in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do this in your Android app. So without wasting time, let's start. So guys, first of all, we will come in this item.xml. So you can see that uh, I have changed this uh, layout in the older version. So previously the way I'm showing this layout, so I have changed it to this box. And uh, now guys, after this, what here we are going to do is uh, we will simply implement another linear layout. So here you can see that uh, this is our item.xml file. But guys, one thing that I want to say is that before implementing likes functionality, you need to implement the Firebase authentication in this Firebase video streaming app. Because guys, for implementing likes functionality, we will need user id current user id that's why i'm telling you to do it and uh, i'm just going to skip this part because i have already made tutorials on email authentication and mobile authentication i will give its link in the description box so you can go and watch and guys don't be panic it is a very easy thing you just need to create some activities and then you will be able to implement uh, authentication and like functionality so guys after this what here we are going to do is uh, we are going to simply implement another linear layout for likes button so simply write linear layout and then its width will be match parent height will be wrap content and orientation will be horizontal obviously and uh, then after this simply close it and inside this linear, linear layout we will simply implement a image button yes guys and it is going to be wrap content and wrap content and then its source so what will be its source so guys, uh, let me show you that I have already imported some drawables from this Android Studio. So as you can see that here, this is IC dislike.xml. This is for dislike and uh, IC like.xml. So this is for like. So how you can get it is simply click on this drawable and uh, then new and then vector asset. So you can see that here it is. And if you will click on this icon, so you will also get the another one favorite border and favorite fine but uh, you guys may be thinking that uh, this is in black color so how you can change it so you can simply see that this is its fill color and i have changed it to red so it is just a simple step you just need to import these two icons and then it will be fine so here i will give simply ic dislike yes guys underscore dislike fine so now you can see that here it is the icon that is showing here now it is dislike and then guys here what we are going to do is uh, simply we need to give it id for identifying so simply write like underscore button fine like button then it will be fine i think and then close it so after this like button here we are going to implement is a text view for uh, showing number of likes simply text view and it will be also wrap content wrap content and then after this we will simply give text size it is going to be 30 sp and uh, then text color android black and then guys here we are going to do give hint and uh, we don't need hint simply you can you can give if you are interested but uh, it is optional so i'm giving it just simply and now last thing is id so id is going to be likes uh, underscore text view fine likes text view and then simply close it fine so now we have got the childs that we need to implement in item.xml so after this simply go in this show video dot java so here you can see that this is our public class show video extends app compatibility and here you have to create one more database reference so simply write here likes reference and it is going to be for likes you can see this is likes reference and then after this like reference you need to do is here we will declare a boolean for 
like checker so it will check the video is already liked or not so for this we are going to make it false yes so after this boolean come inside this uh, on create and here we will give reference so simply write likes reference and it is going to be equals to then database dot get reference database dot get reference and it is going to be we will give the path and that will be likes fine guys so you can see that it is another it will create another child in the database for likes and guys after this what here you need to do is simply come inside this firebase recycle adapter you can see this is our on start method and this is our on bind view holder method so what here first thing you need to do is you can see that this is our folder dot set exo player here we are fixing our set exo player method so what here we will do after this is uh, here we will get the firebase id i mean current user id so how you can get it is simply write firebase user equals to user then equals to here we will write firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user then semicolon and after this here guys we will simply write a string and that will be current user id and for this guys i'm telling you to implement authentication because without that you cannot implement likes functionality and after this simply write get uid so it will simply get the user id and after this we will simply give a string for the post key so simply write a string and it is going to be post key and after this simply write get reference and then here we will paste the position and then dot get key fine so it, it will simply get the key of that post current post so i hope you guys you will understand this process we just need to write these three lines this is for user id these two for user id and uh, these two for post key fine and after this guys simply go outside uh, this uh, so you can see that we will come after this show dialog method and after this here we will simply create a method so simply write folder dot so we will write set likes uh, set likes button status it is showing red because we have not created it we will create it in few seconds so don't take stress just watch it so guys now you can see that we have created this method but uh, it is showing red because we have not created it we will create it so after this guys you need to go in this viewholder.java and you can see that this is the activity where we are simply fixing our exo player for recycler view so what here you need to do is uh, we just need to implement our image button here so simply write image button and then it will be like button and then one for text view and it is going to be likes display then semicolon and after this guys you need to simply declare an integer for count so simply write likes uh, likes count semicolon and then after this again we need database reference and it is going to be likes reference then semicolon fine after this guys what here you need to do is that we will simply create the method that we have created we have given in the show video dot java so simply write public and then here we will write public void and after this set simply control plus v so now you can see that this method is showing here so what here you need to do is after this simply we will give the parameter and it is going to be our post key that we have given here you can see that final java dot string and what here you need to do is simply final string post key so simply here write final string and it will be post key fine and now as you can see that the error is uh, not showing now because we have given the parameter that is why so simply after this what you here you need to do is after creating this method we just uh, can see that we will go back in viewholder.java and here now it's time to is simply opening brackets yes so inside this guys we will give the reference for the button so simply write like button and uh, equals to item view 
dot point view by id then r dot id dot likes button likes button then semicolon and after this for like display and it is for text view simply write item view dot point view by id or dot id dot likes text view then semicolon after this simply write like reference and it is going to be equals to firebase database then dot get instance dot get reference and it will be so guys one more thing that you need to make sure is uh, you have to give the same reference you can see that it is likes and we are also giving this likes in this show video dot java so here you can see that it is also likes the spelling should be same because it will create the same child and we will get the reference from the same child that's why you need to give child uh, i'm sorry likes and likes in both classes and after giving this likes here what you need to do we will again use the firebase current user id so simply write firebase user and then it is going to be user then equals to firebase auth firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user then semicolon and after this again we are going to write is a string then user id and equals to user dot get user id then semicolon fine and after this simply here you need to do is a string likes it is going to be for likes so simply here we are going to go if likes then semicolon fine guys that is not a complex step and after this we will proceed so what here we need to do simply is write likes reference and then we will use add value event listener then new then value event listener value event listener so here we have got the two methods and one for data change and one for cancelled so first of all we will code in on data change so simply write if data snapshot dot child will be post key and uh, then it have a child has child and that will be user id and uh, then we will start the so starting bracket and inside it we are going to do is simply write likes count equals to bracket then integer then data snapshot dot child child will be again post key then dot get children count so it will get the count of children and uh, then likes button dot set image resource and it is going to be r dot drawable dot ic like so i have already shown you that what is ic like and how you can get it and after this simply write likes display so likes display dot set text and it is going to be integer then dot to string and that will be likes count and uh, then after this simply write plus and here we will give the string that we have created likes that one fine so we are going to do is after this simply write here is else part then starting bracket then ending and then you need to copy this the lines from here simply control plus c and then paste it here fine and you have to change this like to dislike i think yeah that is the only change we need to do here so now you can see that our coding part is not uh, almost done not complete so you can see that this is our like drawable this is for dislike so after this what here you can do is uh, guys you can simply show a toast message on cancelled it is just a simple thing but uh, after this simply go here in show video dot java so guys you can see that after this the method we have created what here you we need to do is uh, we will simply write so we will simply write is holder dot like button because now we have implemented so we can do simply write like button and then dot set on click listener method then new then on click listener method fine so now we have got the method so inside that method first of all we will check the life checker equals to true then semicolon fine 
after this you simply need to write is likes reference done then add value event listener new value event listener so fine we again have these methods you can see on data change so now we will also code again we will code in on data change so what here you need to do is simply write if we will check that the user is already liked the video or not so likes checker dot equals to true so if the user is already liked the video then what we will do is simply we are going to do is uh, here again we will use the if start data snapshot dot child if it have a child of post key again and that post key has child of user id so guys uh, that is why i was saying you to implement authentication because it will make the likes functionality so much easy and if you will not implement it then guys i think it is just you know impossible to implement likes functionality because we need user id for the you know individuality of the user because uh, if you will not implement it then same user can like the video again and again that is why so after this here likes reference dot child and uh, child is going to be post key and uh, then after that child again we will have child and that is going to be current user id and then we will remove the value if user already liked the video so it will remove that value fine and then we will set it to like checker equals to false fine then semicolon after this come here and simply write else so if the user have not liked the video then what we are going to do is we are going to simply copy these two lines from here like checker dot post key simply copy it come inside else part and uh, then what here you need to do is we are not going to remove value we will set value because the video is not liked so we will make it true fine so guys uh, after this here you can also show a toast message on cancelled because now our coding part is almost complete so guys now i'm running this app in my mobile i'm not running it in emulator because uh, emulator takes time so now so guys as you can see on the screen that uh, we came on this we have this login ui because we are implementing authentication in this and uh, now we need to create an account so what here i will do is you can see that simply on the screen i will click on this sign up button and here we will create a demo account for uh, showing you the demo so let me just yes gmail.com and then we will give password one two three four five six seven eight and then i will check this box then again one two three four five six seven eight so you can see that after this guys when i will click on this button register so you can see that here uh, now we can are successfully logged in our app firebase video streaming app and uh, when you will refresh this authentication page so you will see that our email id and user id is saved here and now you can see that this is the email id that i have given and this is the user id that we need that is why we are implementing authentication and you can also see on the screen that this is a button for sign out and uh, when you will open this database here uh, we have a child for videos and uh, after this guys uh, here you can see that videos so guys when you will click on this text view show videos so you will be able to see you can see that this is the likes that we are implementing and if i will click on this first video so you can see that number of likes is increased and also we have this red heart and you can also see that there is a child created of name likes it have a post key and this is user id you can see that this is a user id and it is true because we like the post and when i will like another post you can see that it is liked so for example i will like all of these videos so you can see that uh, every time it will create a new child and guys after this for uh, showing you another example i will log in from another account so simply sign out and this time we will go i will go here and i will add a user i will not create account i will simply write is code at the rate gmail.com for showing you demo so simply i will give it name one two three four five six seven eight nine this time we will increase one more digit and then simply add user and guys you can see that user is added so again 
we will log in so simply i will write code code at the rate gmail dot com and password is one two three four five six seven eight nine show password and uh, login so you can see password the progress bar is visible and guys now again we are successfully logged in and uh, this time i will click on this show videos so you can see that there is also one like showing but the heart is not red because we logged in from different id so if i will click on this so you can see that there is another child created so hope you are understanding that how it is working so after this when i will click the second video so you can see second child third second child fourth then fifth and if you will dislike any of this video for example that i am going to dislike this first video so this child will be deleted see so you can see that this child is deleted and when i will click again so again the child is created so you can see that guys our app is working absolutely fine there is no error so you can get the source code of this in the description box and guys in next video i will show you that how you can implement comments on these videos so hope you like this video so guys, please like share and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos just like this and please press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching